I believe good business is just a series of good choices strategically and effectively implemented. In this episode, I'll show you how to help your executive team make better decisions faster. Now, if you're the kind of leader who is frustrated because your people come to you with a half-baked recommendation, and worse, the person with the idea has essentially delegated up the work of getting better information so a solid decision can be made, you'll be doing some backflips after today's episode because I'm going to give you back hours of time each week. If you have people who walk into your office with a got a minute and your day is chewed up with people who want to shoot the breeze on concepts and you just don't have enough time for those only mildly productive interruptions, you're in for a treat. So stick tight. You may, you may just be able to go home at a decent hour. And then again, if your people are extremely good at decisions and they bring you and your team a process that helps you make decisions quickly and effectively, you'll love to hear how you can take it up another notch. Every organization is facing these challenges to effective decisions in less time. I'm now going to give you three steps that will help you get your team owning how they recommend and decide on key decisions better and faster. Step one, stop the death by meeting approach where your team members bring things into the team as concepts and want to chat about them. Make sure that each person writes up their presentation with all the facts so that all you do in meetings is make the decision. Step two, Make sure your team is applying critical thinking when they present a solution. After all, you can find someone on Fiverr.com to do research for less than the cost of a decent lunch. You're paying your people for their thinking. Demand that they deliver it. Often people don't explain the history or the impact or the things that will get disturbed by the decision. If all heck's going to break loose when you implement the idea, you want to know before you make the decision. They need to be taught how to think through an issue so they address it. I'll never forget serving on a board where the write-ups that came in to be decided on often lacked the right supporting info and how the board then stumbled around trying to decide by guessing because a decision was due. The retractions were embarrassing and extremely costly. Hard lesson. Step three, once your key people are trained on this decision-making process, don't allow anything in front of the team that doesn't follow the process. If you do, things will get sloppy and you'll find yourself right back in the thick of death by meeting. It just keeps coming back unless you take action to make sure it can't. The person making the recommendation must sign it and put their butt on the line for what they recommend instead of delegating up the decision with a, I don't know, what do you think we should do? So three steps. Stop the let's discuss ad nauseum pattern then create a powerful template of what is expected in that write-up. And lastly, don't allow the sloppy patterns to sneak back in and waste your executives and board's time. By nailing the executive decision-making process, the percentage of optimal decisions goes up substantially and the amount of spinning in circles while you chew up expensive executive time and diminish the joy of being executive gets stomped out. Don't go far, my next episode is a special gift of something I haven't shared before that will really boost results quickly. See you then.